All right, space fans, let's blast through the latest rocket news you need to know, because the launch game is getting wild. SpaceX is on track for over 150 launches this year, and China might hit 70, staggering numbers compared to just a few years ago. Satellite operators want more lift, the military does too, plus venture-backed startups and mega constellations entering constant replenishment. Bottom line, demand for reliable, reusable launches is only going up. Astra CEO Chris Kemp threw some serious shade at competitors, calling out life at Starbase and work culture comparisons, and even accusing a partner of sending garbage engines. Bold words, especially with Astra's own rocky record. Europe's reusable rocket push is finally moving. Ariane Group integrated the Themis prototype in Sweden, with hop tests coming soon toward a new reusable line. The U.S. Navy ran Trident missile tests off Florida, scheduled reliable ability checks not tied to world events. Firefly plans Alpha's return to flight with two launches hoped for before year's end. Their moon winds are real, but Alpha still has a lot to prove. Italy's Avio snagged a 2027 launch for a mystery extra European customer, while Amazon's Kuiper tops 120 satellites in orbit, with more launches queued up fast. Ariane 6 booked German military commsats, signaling renewed confidence in Europe's launcher. NASA Artemis Sue targets February 2026, sending four astronauts around the moon in a spacecraft named Integrity. Starship will attempt a wild orbital return to Texas, flying over Mexico and parts of the U.S. The FAA's new maps show how tight that window is. Blue Origin's new Glenn gears up for Flight 2 and it won a NASA deal to deliver Viper to the moon's south pole in 2027. That's your cosmic roundup. Which rocket story blew your mind? Please like, subscribe, and express how you feel in the comments below. Thank you for all of your support for my channel.